Shaker and Arts and Crafts Furniture are some of the first pieces that budding furniture makers usually start out with. And the simple reason is, is they're rectilinear in design and relatively easy to put together. But if you want to try to bring your skills to the next level of intermediate, this period lowboy is a great place to start. This piece combines a mortise and tenon case with traditional cabrio legs, dovetail drawers, and a tabletop that sports the hand-shaped edge profile. The typical fan carving here on the center drawer rounds things off and offers plenty of areas for you to build your skill set. I've modified some of the period construction details to allow for the seasonal movement of the wood. So that doesn't make it really uh, reproduction per se, but it's really in keeping with the spirit of an early American piece. In this video workshop series, I'll take you through every step of the construction process. We'll begin with a lesson on how to craft the low boy's iconic cabrio legs. You'll learn how to combine modern machinery and use some good old-fashioned hand tools to create beautiful curves. Then we'll move on to case construction, as I show you how to use mortise and tenon joinery to build a traditional case from slab sides. We'll focus on joinery that moves with seasonal humidity changes for a solid, stable assembly. With our case complete, we'll turn our attention back to the legs for a moment, as we use transition blocks to marry the curves on the lower half of the legs with a square post block that functions as the corner of our case. Then we'll cut and fit our drawer runners and kickers before tackling the final glue up. These ornamental drops are a signature element of the 18th century low boys. I'll show you how to turn them and mount them before moving on to the next key element. A fan that decorates the center drawer was a popular element in Queen Anne furniture and serves as a great introduction to basic carving techniques. I'll take you through every step of the process, from the layout, straight through the carving and scraping, before moving on to the basic techniques of dovetail drawers. Finally, we'll wrap things up with a visit to a local museum, where we can get some ideas regarding surface preparation and finish, with a little inspiration from a good old period original. So if you're interested in building a period piece, this low boy is a fantastic place to start.